The Porsche Cayenne Hybrid is more than just a good-looking fair-weather friend. I found that out firsthand when the curfew was lifted after Hurricane Irene and I drove to Spring Lake, New Jersey to check on some friends. Well, I guess they, did they board that up or did they? They boarded that up to try and protect it, yeah. Porsche says the Cayenne Hybrid can ford water up to 19.7 inches deep with the regular suspension and 21.9 inches of water with the optional air suspension. But why wouldn't you get hurricane shutters? You spent $9 million or whatever it is on that house. Well, they spent $9 million on the house and they have hurricane yeah. shutters. Yeah. But because the power is uh, out. Power's out they can't lift any of those shutters. The air suspension allows you to raise or lower the body at the touch of a button. That's very helpful if you have a gravel driveway at your ski house and need more ground clearance. You can also lower the car to get kids or elderly people into or out of it with ease. My friends in Spring Lake, New Jersey were okay. Their beloved boardwalk, however, was not. This looks like a train wreck. One of my friends in Spring Lake just ordered his own Porsche Cayenne hybrid to replace his current Turbo Cayenne. He said he wanted to balance out his carbon footprint considering that his other car is a 12-cylinder Mercedes. If you're thinking that hybrid technology is something new for Porsche, you're wrong. The first hybrid car in the world was in fact a Porsche. Michael Bartsch is the COO of Porsche North America. Hybrid is not new for the world. The first hybrid was produced 111 years ago, and that was the Sempervivus. It was a Lorna. And Dr. Porsche developed that. And if you have a look at automotive history, at the latter part of the 1800s and the early part of the 1900s, a significant amount of the cars were initially uh, electric cars. And, uh, and it was simply that age-old problem of being able to store energy in batteries, and it was also the weight problem that came with the electric motors in those days that eventually killed it off and direct drive from internal combustion engines took over. Now, of course, there are a whole lot of considerations allowing people to rethink the concept and evolve it with the technologies that we have. The Porsche Cayenne Hybrid has a 0 to 60 time of 6.1 seconds. It's got a top speed of 150 miles an hour and, most importantly, gas mileage of 20 miles per gallon city and 24 on the highway. What's important is not so much what the drive line is. What's important is that however we find the solutions to the issues of CO2 and environmental uh, considerations, that we do it in a way that when somebody gets in the Porsche, it's still a Porsche. Now, those mileage estimates are from the EPA, but I think I actually got much better mileage than those numbers. Because of the hurricane and everything else going on, I forgot to make sure to zero the odometer to do my own independent testing, but I know that when I returned the Porsche Cayenne hybrid to the press fleet, it still had about half a tank of gas after a week of driving. That week included driving into and out of New York City a couple of times, and also driving to the shore and back. Now, some of the extra gas mileage may come from Porsche's coasting hybrid system. Instead of recharging the battery whenever you take your foot off the gas, the coasting mode actually turns off the gasoline engine and disengages it from the drivetrain using the decoupling clutch, enabling the vehicle to move along without either gasoline combustion or electric propulsion. Now turn on. The base price for the Porsche Cayenne Hybrid is about $68,000, but like all Porsches, many of the options are a la carte. There's no backup camera and kind of a high <laughs> rear seat, so backup visibility isn't great, but it's probably an option. With Porsche, most things are an option. It's a car company that really loves to do a la carte. Some look at it as you're not paying for things you don't want. Others look at it as I'm paying $90,000 or $80,000, shouldn't they throw in the floor mats? All depends on how you look at it. Something else that's really nice about the 2011 Cayenne Hybrid is that it has a lot of buttons and switches. Now, hear me out. Although to some people this may look a little bit like NASA in a cockpit, I really like it because if it's your car and you get used to it, you can feel the different buttons and switches and you know where everything is as opposed to a toggle dial or a touch screen. 
but unlike some other hybrids and even some modern gasoline-only vehicles, there's no built-in inverter. In other words, a wall outlet that you can use to charge your laptop, cell phone, or other electronic device. So I always travel with these travel inverters. The Porsche Cayenne Hybrid puts out 380 combined horsepower. The price as tested for the 2011 Cayenne included nearly $4,000 for the air suspension system. Most of the Cayenne Hybrid is built in Leipzig, Germany, but the transmission is from Japan. The total price as tested was $86,500. Uh, hybrid, hybrid is the future. It has to be. Porsche is also going to offer a hybrid model of its popular Panamera sedan. I'm Grant Winter reporting for Real World Test Drive.